a web browser that runs inside the terminal. What? Why, why do we even need this? I don't know, but I want it. I want to try it right now. Because honestly, it sounds kind of awesome. Like, I don't have to leave my terminal. I'm already there. It'll block ads by default because it legit can't load them. I'm intrigued. Like, how do you how do you scroll and how do you click links? I'm kind of excited to try that. And yeah, I haven't set this up, so we're setting this up together. You and me. Get your coffee ready. This is 5 Minute Friday. It's called Links. And the website is kind of 1995? probably easy to browse with their browser. I get it. Oh wait, hold on. They have a version for Windows too? Okay, we're gonna try that too. But first we'll do Linux. Seems pretty basic on Debian, you're using APT, and then DNF on Fedora and Pac-Man on Arch. So I'm gonna try this in Ubuntu on WSL. So curious about how this works. So we'll do a sudo apt install links, do a dash y at the end, sudo password, let's go. Okay, that was it. Now what? I have no idea what to do. Maybe just type in links. I'm using it. It's a fully featured World Wide Web browser. They do have a user guide. I'm gonna try and do this without the user guide. So we use the up and down arrow keys to move, right to follow a link, okay, and left to go back. That seems pretty simple. I can get down with that. Okay, so I guess, hold on, wh what do I do? Okay, <laughs> I think I'm at the main screen. I'm gonna hit O for options. What are my options here? You can do VI mode. <sighs> That's a little too much for me. Let's make my browser bigger here. I'm gonna exit, start it again. Oh wait, I just closed out of my Ubuntu. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, it was made by the University of Kansas. That's pretty cool. Let's do question mark. I don't know. That's just searching stuff. Okay, we're on the main screen. Uh, if I type in G to go somewhere. Oh, there we go. So type in G, I'll go to networkchuck.com. Now my site is very, very graphic heavy. <sighs> it's going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, that's cool. All right, so I'm just gonna scroll down to, let's go to about the right arrow. Yeah, it went to the About Me page, which I need to update. It's only got 2.8 million subscribers. I've got a lot more. All right, go to Academy now. Um, it's saying, do I wanna accept a cookie? I'm just gonna put it always. <laughs> oh man, this is so cool. I would not recommend going to academy.numberchuck.com with this, because <laughs> it's the video course website. So I think I've got the, the gist of this. Now, how do I uh, click on G again? Okay, so G will get you to another URL. Let's try going to info.acilearning dot com forward slash network chuck. <laughs> That's just a really terrible segue to our sponsor, ACI Learning, the provider of IT Pro. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty cool. Now real quick, you do save 30% off your first month or year with code CHUCK30. Now what is IT Pro? If you want to get started in IT and learn things like, hey, what's a computer? All the way up to Linux and PowerShell and the cloud and hacking. You can do all that with IT Pro. You can start an entirely new career with IT Pro. They've got videos that won't bore you to tears. I'm gonna try and get logged in. <laughs> Browsing this in a terminal is not easy. <laughs> I love the description of the, what, the fill-in text for photos? Happy man in suit using laptop. That could be you. Right, I just wanna get logged in. Platform logins, choose my path. ACI on demand, <laughs> and that's where it dies because as we'll talk about later, it doesn't load things really well when you have to use JavaScript and login forms or anything fancy. But seriously, here's IT Pro, the, the real website. Much prettier. And again, they've got everything you need to get started. Entry level IT, get your A+, to Network+, plus, Security+, plus, CCNA, all the cloud certs. Yeah, pretty much all of them. AWS certifications, they've got practice tests, and they've got virtual labs. Pretty much everything you need to get started in IT and prepare for practice exams. So again, check it out, link below. Use a regular browser, not a terminal one for obvious reasons. And don't forget to use Chuck30 for 30% off your first month or year. Let's try, what would be a good website? Go to Bleeping Computer. I gotta admit the accepting the cookie thing every time is really annoying. This news article is kind of crazy. National public data confirms the breach exposing social security numbers. Let's go right key to that one. Ah, more cookies. Is there a way to always accept cookies? Oh wait, am I saving a document? Cancel. This is so fun. Oh, I keep like trying to go back. Uh, and then I quit. Okay, that, that that was so fun. Now I'm gonna jump back in there and see if I can just enable, uh, oh, <laughs> I feel so out of my element with this. I'm gonna go to um, options and see if I can always accept cookies. Accept all, okay, perfect. That'll make this so much better. And then, uh, okay, so how do I get out and save? Oh, it's right here. Except, oh shoot, accept changes. There we go. You gotta be careful. You go that left arrow, you're gonna go back. Now they have a whole user guide of like how to download stuff. Navigating special links like mail to links and comments. So kind of love this, but a couple of things. Because it's a text-based only browser, you can't go to certain sites like, you know, YouTube and enjoy YouTube. Actually, I'm curious what happens when I go to YouTube. We have to try it. Let's go to YouTube. 
can I just type in a URL like this? Links, and then I'll do uh, YouTube.com. Yes, it just does it. Um, I thought I told you. Oh, GPS, that's cool. Okay, uh, sure, yes, okay, just accept all the cookies. Yeah, it hates this. <laughs> so YouTube isn't gonna work great. And any site that requires any kind of JavaScript or special scripts to allow you to log in like Gmail, it's not gonna do great with. But still, it's pretty fun. Let me know how you're gonna use this or if you'll ever use this. If anything, it's just fun to try. Oh, and we forgot one thing. Can we install it on Windows? I don't know why I'd want to, because I've got WSL, but I'm curious. No, I'm not gonna mess with this. It's talking about Windows 7. I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's too old for me. I'll stick with Linux. Anyways, that's a five minute Friday. Fun little tool I found that could be fun for you. I'm not sure. I, I'll probably end up using it every once in a while. That's it. I'll catch you guys next time.